Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we're finally finishing off the gearbox service. The oil is going in. Well, we're going under, possibly for the last but one time. <laughs> so those of you who followed the other episodes, thank you very much. I had no uh, intention of stretching this out to three little films, but as you know, not been feeling very well and today I'm feeling great. So it's, it's just stretched it out because I don't have the energy to do it all in one, if I'm honest. Okay, so here's our Transmission, all cleaned up, all torqued up, new filter inside, new gasket, new seal between the filter and the transmission itself. It's been torqued down, it will get torqued down again. I've brought under here with me, if I can find it, a chalk marker, really just for your benefit. So you can easily see the position of the filler. We talked about in the previous videos, there's a triangular piece of casting that sticks out specifically to mark where it is. Let's get that going. And I'll just put a little bit of purple marker on there. Hopefully that stands out a little bit. There we go. And our filler hole goes through this way, from the exhaust towards the middle of the car. Now I've just got that filler plug loosely in. So I'm gonna remove it. There you go. As we discussed in the previous film, you need to practice putting that in and out so that you can do it reasonably easily because this is going to be hot when you're printing for the last time. Just shuffling all my tools. Again, we discussed this in the previous video. I've got a length of tube with a hook of copper pipe on it. And I've decided that my best route for this is actually over the top of the gearbox support. And the reason for that is it enters the gearbox at a nice angle with the tube slightly facing down, which means that I'm not gonna get a false full with oil running back along the tube, the outside of the tube. It's only gonna spill when it reaches the bottom of the filler hole. There we go. I'm just gonna pull that up and over. It's a nice convenient position for me. Okay. So my filler pipe is in position. Now I've got the first can of my transmission oil. And the reason I selected this, it was supplied as part of a service pack by British Parts, which is one of my favorite suppliers. Not sponsored, just happens to be where I bought it from, all my own money. Um, and I've got a, an oil syringe. If you're gonna get an oil syringe, Really recommend getting one with one of these nice quick release type fittings. It's actually an air fitting. And that means I can put this short length of tube in there like so. Use the syringe to draw up fluid. 
like so. And then once I've got a syringe full of fluid, I can just pop the pipe off and attach it to the one that goes in the gearbox. And I can quick release here. Like so. Attach here. Like so. And then I can send the oil up to the gearbox. Nice, clean system. At the end of that, disconnect my filler, just pop the uh, tube back into the bottle and I can hook up to the short pipe again and draw my next load. And so on. So I'll come back to you when I've got a little bit more oil in the gearbox. <coughs> well, you rejoin me after I've put. Well, you rejoin me after I put three and a half litres of oil into the gearbox and then it started to overflow back out. So I've cleaned up a little bit. Um, it's not too much point in being too fussy because it's going to spill again. What we do at this stage is pop the filler plug back in. And we're gonna just nip it up with the eight mil Allen key. And at this stage, that bit is done. Well, now I'm going to drop the car down. Obviously, I've got nice facilities. So for many of you, it won't be a case of dropping the car down. Because what we're going to do now is start her up and just run through the gears to open various valves. And then we're going to let the engine warm until the transmission gets warm in a sort of 30 to 40 degrees C range. At this point, we've just filled, filled the sump of the gearbox and once the engine's running, it's got a pump inside the gearbox, which is going to pull up the oil through the filter, pump it around the gearbox, fill up the torque converter if that's drained down at all. And once that's all filled up, we'll have the true level in the pan. But it does mean we've got to top it up while the engine's running.
just let the car come off fast idle. So now pumping the fluid around the gearbox, so reducing the level in the transmission sump. Now I'm going to put my foot on the brake and we're just going to move the shifter into reverse, let it strain against the reverse just a few seconds, into neutral, drive. Back to three, four, over to D, back to neutral, reverse, a few more seconds in reverse, and then back to park. Should have opened the various solenoids and now we're just going to leave the engine running for a while and get it back up in the air and use my thermometer to check when the transmission gets to the right temperature so see you under there in a sec so we're at 40 degrees the required temperature Please make sure you don't burn yourself. The exhaust is well over 100 degrees C. What I'm going to try and do now is undo the filler plug. Also think about if the oil is going to drip, do not let it drip on you. Very easy to get disorientated when you're upside down. And wear a hat. Exhausts are hot. Okay, we're on. Right, we're undone. I'll see your dexterity is going to be quite a lot reduced wearing any form a glove that's going to be useful to protect you from the heat. So be very careful. So tricky. Working blind and it's very hot. Right, I've got the plug out, just trying not to lose it. There we go. So we know the level has been reduced. Now we're going to put our filler in. And we're going to pump some more oil. If the filming's not very good, it could be dangerous for me to be concentrating on it. So apologies. Right. There's 500 mil in a syringe. It'd be easy to think, oh, I can turn the engine off now, but unfortunately the sump would refill and it would overflow. So you have to have it running to know the right level. Okay, 500 mil gone. Okay. And we're pumping again. Okay, we're dripping. That's it's about 700 mil gone in. I'm just going to pump a little bit more just to be sure. 
in case I've disturbed. No, that's good. All I've got to do now, he says, making it sound as easy as possible, is put the sump plug back in. Not an easy task. Bear in mind, you've got hot, wet oil, so your gloves are gonna absorb it if they're absorbent. Don't wear rubber gloves. They'll melt onto you and you'll get into a terrible state. I think I've got it started. I'll come back to you in a minute. Hot. Right, I switched to my mobile phone because the batteries failed on my camera while I was underneath there, but all you missed was me heaving on the Allen key. I'd managed to go there. Tighten it up, even on the Allen key with a small extension on. Uh, I've felt it up to the right torque, which is, um, I think, 30. Let's have a quick look for you. Oh, some notes on my desk. Uh, a bit of a bit of filler. 32 to 38 newton meters. I've got a fair idea what that feels like, but I will check it when it's cold. Um, now, I'm gonna bring the car down and I'll just jump in and go for the gears again. And then with the foot on the brake, one more time. Let's take her into reverse. Park. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Four, three, two, three, four, drive, neutral, reverse, and And at that, I can rest for a bit. And I'm gonna turn the engine off, cool it and me down quite a lot. But before the car gets completely cool, I will pop it back up in the air and just check my transmission sump bolts to make sure they're still at 11 newton meters of torque. Well, there we are, boys and girls. Finished a gearbox service on an XK8 with a sealed for life gearbox. Very doable. I wouldn't say this was technically difficult. Uh, again, most jobs aren't, if I'm absolutely honest. Um, you do have to have a few tools around you that you might not otherwise want or need. So things like uh, the oil syringe, things like an infrared thermometer, things like a torque wrench that can go down into the low figures, um, yeah, that's the main things. Uh, other things are useful, you know, a creeper, a crawling board is very useful. I've got the deluxe garage with the scissor lifting. This doesn't need height, but it is easier, it's got to be said. The higher off the ground you can get it. It's more important with the car's flat and level than it is high. In the end, I used 5.8 litres of oil. So practically the full six litres that I got in the kit. I've used up a t-shirt. It was already old, but drips of warm oil everywhere. This is a goner. And the biggest challenge of this job is, A, don't hurt yourself because hot. 
and B, do not miss out on part one of this gearbox refurb or servicing uh, video, which is the prep before you undo the pan bolts because it is easy to break those. It is easy to strip the heads. So you'll, you'll want to do that sort of stuff. You can buy upgraded bolts to go back in the pan, but if you need those, you've probably got to drill out a thread and undo the little bits and pieces. So hard work. So do some prep. I think that's about it for now. It's not yet time to turn over the calendar. Good, because the year's going by too fast. But I will say we've had an awful lot of really good entries already for the calendar competition. So if you want to take a photograph of your XK8 XKR X100 and send it in for our fun photo competition, check out the videos under that title, XK8 XKR photo competition. But the essential fact is send me a photo to john at tothegarage.co.uk in landscape format. Anything else is fine as long as it's landscape. And the deadline is the last day of July 2023. I'm off in to throw my t-shirt away and have a bath. Bye. If you're enjoying our channel, then don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. And please give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and you can share the videos. And below the video is always the area where you can comment and get involved with the chat.